came out of the car. I told him, to please go and pack my, my child's uh, uh, books. Calculate the remaining balance and give me. They are not schooling again. Do you know what particular Allah and Shalom has been putting their hand in um, 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 John Davis' uh, um, bomb bomb? Did he say, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, uh, vice principal, come, come, Jesus Christ. Your vice principal told me there, I saw him walking like this. I called him to my office and asked him, why are you walking like this? He told me nothing. I said, John Davis, why did you tell vice principal nothing? He said, because Allah was at the window. So I just told him nothing and walked away. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your sister Daddy Che Blog TV. You are welcome once again. In today's video, we are going to talk about uh, uh, Don David, mother of Don David. You guys know the story of David in Bodley School. Last year, the thing was trending all over social media. So I want to bring it to you for you to watch this video when this woman repeat what she was saying is exactly what happened to Sylvester last time. No, I uh, I gave you a video that you watched about Sylvester that died in body in Lagos. And the women in Lagos they come out and start doing protests in Lagos. So that thing that mother of Don David was saying last year where people was like saying uh, she's looking for followers, this that that and I think is going on to other children now. So guys, I will leave you to watch this video of this mother of Don David because the woman is so angry. It's like she's trying to bring, revise the case again. So I said, let me bring it to your notice. So you will follow me and watch and listen to what this woman was saying exactly. God bless you as you have for my own return subscribers. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. If you know that this is the first time of coming across this channel, you are highly welcome. God bless you. Not allowed. Go and pack all his property for me. Let me take him away. I'd rather have him alive, a grown-up man, illiterate all his life, than to be an educated man in the grave. I don't want. I don't want pilots in the grave. I don't want presidents. The moment if I grow up, I want to become a president in the grave. I don't want a professor in the grave. I'd rather have a farmer. A farmer, a stark illiterate, grown up man alive, who cannot speak English like me, that to have a very educated boy in the grave. Go and pack all his things and give me. I will parade him before the world and say, he was an illiterate all his life. At least he's alive. I'd rather have him an illiterate all his life than to have him very educated. Very well, fine man, and at the end of the day, he comes out to be a, a dead human being. This was him when he left primary school. That is him. Between 8th of um, uh, September, uh, October, 8th of October to 15th of December. 15th of November, he has diminished that way. So, as I was saying, WF Kumuyi, I took my son into my car in your church and school premises because the church is like this, the school is like this. Your conversion was going on. I said, Talk to me, what is wrong with you? WF Kumuyi, do you know that my son could not talk to me? He feared your teachers. And the senior more than me. He took a whole lot before he opened his mouth and talked. He said, Mommy, Allah, Allah, what is that boy's name? Allah and Shalom, that I writing almost their final exams now in Deeper Life High School. Allah and Shalom has finished my bomb bomb. This way is exact words. WF Kumui, I want you to go back and check my previous video if you will see anything different from what I'm telling you. He said, Allah and Shalom, that their fathers are pastors in Deeper Life Church, has finished my bomb bomb. These two people, Allah and Shalom, their father are running, you gave them church where they are running. 
They are, they are all pastors running churches for you. This is what their son were doing with Don Davis. And they molest Don Davis at 12 in the midnight. I ask him, don't other students see when this thing happened? He said, once it's 12, they will wake him up. Ask him to bend down and they will be putting their hands into his anus. When he feels like he wants to go to the toilet, mm. they will leave him completely come away. You and I, where don't they fuck? No say that thing wasn't hand. He said they will put mm. their hand inside in where in the sheet from. When they put their hand for this side away from the sheet, this place. When their hand has entered the mommy, he will do me as if I want to pull. I will go. They will say, come on, go and pull. I will go. Come back. When I come back, I will not turn to... That's if I'm not finished putting it on. I will not turn my nyash to Shalom. When I turn my nyash to Shalom, Shalom will begin to put his own too. When the thing shake me as if I want to shit, they will ask me to go and shit. And when I come back, all that place will be paining me. All that place will be paining me. I said, like, how many days will that place pain you? Say, mommy, sometimes it can be three days, it can be four days. If I want to sit down, I'll be sitting down like this. All that place will be paining me. W.F. Kumui, Williams Kumui, you and I know that it wasn't hard that we are putting. But as a child, that's all his head could carry. WF Kumuli, I want you to understand that when Don Davis turned 18 to 19 into 20, he will understood what actually went into his anus. WF Kumuli, days before his birthday, he went to school. And when he got to your school, before he came to school, before I bought the form, from the line, the phone number we saw, I told the principal that my son bed wet. Should we bring marking touch or um, other means of protecting him from messing up the environment? Your proper, your principal Ndidi Solomon Ibe that has been coming out here to attack me told me that I shouldn't worry that your school has marking touch. And there are other children who bed wet. So it's not just about him. This is him too. Before he went to your school. WF Kumui. Barely one week of his arrival into the school premises. Did Solomon, your principal. Moving from JSS1 dormitory to SS3 dormitory. SS1 dormitory. And WF Kumi, you know what? For two to three weeks, my son did not bait. You know why he did not bait? Because seniors don't allow junior to use their dormitory, um, their bedroom. He dare not enter the bedroom nor the toilet. He did not bait for three weeks to one month. Just three, four, five days of his arrival into Deeper Life High School. He did not bait for three weeks to one month. He did not bait because the seniors refused him to enter the uh, 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 junior's dormitory. Senior dormitory. I am not holding you from reporting the live video. If you don't report this live video, you are a double bastard. Omuge uchi gozo. Omuge ga uchi chaka. By this time, December next year, omuge ga gozo. Ne suya. Ne uge ne suya. Mku hara ge suya ne do apara pim. Just keep. What about that man? Uge suya uge gozo. Enu yam gara ge. Have you taken down the name? Omuge ga uchi chaka. Me report the video I want. He went to Oya. He got a woman mad also. He would not care if he had come give me that balia. He would not want any of the press cancer. He got a woman mad also. He gave Jacob the issue. He gave the suya. The suya did not. 
You are born by mistake. You that chases shadow.